Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we are going to look at uh, quadratic equation by factoring. So to solve quadratic equation by factoring, we always apply the zero product property. We said that if the product of two real numbers is zero, then one or both of the numbers must be zero. Thus, if AB, for example, if we have AB is equal to zero, then this means that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero or both are equal to zero okay let's just look at this example if we have x open bracket x plus one close bracket is equal to zero then what will be the zero product rule so this means that x is equal to zero or x is equal to x plus one is equal to zero then x is equal to 0 or oh, now we now take the plus 1 to the other side making x is equal to minus 1 so this is what you call product rule or product uh, 0 product property rule and another example if we have x minus 5 open and close bracket x minus 1 open and close bracket is equal to 0 then it means that we have so it's something to say x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to uh, 0 so it's the same thing look at it x minus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equals to 0 so it's the same thing to say we now take minus 5 to the other side so we have x is equal to 5 and uh, x is equal to 1 so this is what you call the zero product property then solving quadratic equation with the factorization so assuming now we have x squared minus 11 x is equal to 0 so now look at this equation what is common in x squared and minus 11 x the common is x so we now factor x out of the bracket so we have x open bracket x minus 11 so if we're now going to open the bracket will this you will still this have x squared minus 11 x is equal to 0 so this is the something to say x is equal to 0 or x minus 11 is equal to 0 so we now have x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 11 if we take 11 to the other side it has negative sign so if we transfer to the other side it will now become positive that is why we have x is equal to 11 then another one we have 10 x squared plus 5 x is equal to 0 so what is common in this equation 5 x 5 x is common so you now factorize 5 x out of the brackets then 2 x plus 1 and you close the bracket then we have equals to z okay so therefore we now have 5x is equal to 0 or 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so now x 5x is now going to be 0 because if you say if you now divide 5x to uh, uh, sorry if you now divide 5 throughout the 5x equals to 0 0 divided by 0 you will end up of having 0 so therefore x now is 0 and then we now have x is equal to minus half it is if you now take 1 to the other side it will be minus 1 so we divide 2x through 2 throughout the equation then we now have x is equal to uh, 1 that is something like this we you see we have 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so it's something to say 2x is equal to minus 1 so you divide the equation through by 2 by 2 so therefore these two will now take care of this so that is why we have x is equal to minus 1 over 2 so another one we have 1 over 2 sorry 1 over 3 x squared plus 4 over 3 x is equal to 0 so this is the something what is common 
in this equation is 1 over 2x of course because okay look at uh, this so we have 1 over x plus uh, open bracket x plus 4 equals to 0 so how do we arrive at this of course we know that we say we have 4 all over 3x but this 4x over 3 is the same term to say 1 all over 3 times 4 so therefore we have 1 over 3 and this 1 over 3 so that is why we have 1 over 3 in common and we are now left with this 4 so that is why we have x plus 4 so we have x 1 over 3 x equals to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0 so we have x equals to 0 or x is equal to minus 4 then another one is the next thing is how to determine the root of the quadratic equations so it's simple uh, ladies and gentlemen one thing that I want all of us to understand is when we said quadratic equation is an equation with the highest power of 2 so we now have uh, x squared minus 11 x plus 4 so in solving quadratic equations using factorization method to obtain the root of the equation what we need to do is always think of a two numbers that if you multiply them will give you the last number in the equation which one is the last number here the last number is this four so and if you also add those two or you subtract those two numbers it will give you the number at the middle so how do you do that so now we have 11 and 24 so we think of those two numbers okay so you see we want we now want to get the factors of 24 of course look at this we have 3 and 8 so one of the factors we have is 3 and 8 so if you now see 3 times 8 we have 24 and if you said minus 3 times minus 8 minus times minus is plus of course we'll have 24 and then the next thing we do now is we can now say minus 3 minus 8 of course we'll have minus 11 so it means that we are going to work with this so now what is going to be we'll have something like this we'll have x squared we will remove this 11x and replace it with minus 3x minus uh, minus 8x then plus of course this 24 so we'll now end up of having this so what we do the next is we now create a bracket when we create the bracket then we'll look at what are the common things what are the commons in this bracket and in this bracket so you see we have x squared minus 3 so the common we have is x we have common x here so we can now say x out then we have x minus 3 then we close the bracket then what is common here also we have the minus in outside the bracket then the common we have it so therefore we now open bracket and see we now left with x minus 3 in this bracket so this is how is it is going to be so you see that is why we arrive at this we arrive at this so you see we have this so we'll end up of having this bracket x minus 8 x minus 3 because um, as i said look at it at the end you will end up of taking only two of the brackets so which of this which of the bracket you see this one and this one are the same so therefore we now have x you create this a bracket for this one so x x minus 8 we close the bracket like this so we have this so they are the same we just take one so we now say uh, x minus 3 then we close the bracket so this is how is we, we arrive at this one this is how we arrive at this so therefore we now have x minus 8 is equal to 0 then x minus 3 is equal to 0 so we end up of having x is equal to 8 then x is equal to plus 3 so we are done with this then the next thing we have also another one 
we have 2x squared minus 6x minus 56 so also this one will apply the same rule we'll think of the two numbers that if you multiply them will give us the last number and if you add them or you subtract them they will give you uh, uh, the middle number so how do you do this so if I look at this one in this case we have a coefficient attached to uh, the x square so we will take this two the coefficient and multiply it with the minus 56 so if you now say 2 times minus 56 we will end up of having 1 minus 112 so now what we will do here is not considered as 56 we will now think of which of the number that if you multiply them they will give us this minus 112 and if we add them or subtract them they will give us this 6 okay or maybe you can think of another method yeah of course you can think of another method you see we have a common number in all through wait two can be here two can enter six and 56 so we can factorize two so that is why we have the next thing that we are going to do is to think of which number if we multiply them will give us minus 28 and if we add them or subtract them will give us this so you see at the end we have 2 um, uh, minus 7 and 4 so if you now see we already have these two outside the bracket we already have that so now what we are going to do is we are now going to see minus 2 times 4 we sorry minus 7 times 4 we have minus 28 and minus 7 plus 4 we have uh, minus 3 so therefore we now have this so the next thing is we have x minus 7 in bracket and x plus 4 in bracket is equal to 0 so therefore we have x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0 so we have x is equal to 7 and x equals to minus 4 so I think this is very simple so we have also another one here so this equation can be solved we can get the root of the equation in two ways you can follow alphabet uh, algebra you can do it algebra algebraically and you can do it graphically so if you want to do this graphically of course we have a standard procedure of uh, doing or of getting quadratic equation uh, using graphical method so mostly if you want to get quadratic equation using uh, using graphical method remember let's say this is our graph this is our y axis and this is our x axis and this is of course negative x axis and this is positive y axis so now if you want to get uh, the root of the equation using quadratic equation of course at the end you will have different uh, points in your graph so after you have let's say you have points here you have points here you have points here and you have also points here you also have a point somewhere here here then you have point here then you have point here you have point here so at the end if you if it is really a quadratic equation at the end you will end up of having something like a cough something like this so if you ask to get the root after you draw the equation to get the root of the equation then of course you know that if it is uh, this thing mostly at the z uh, this is zero so maybe this is one and two three then continuous like this and this is of course negative maybe minus three minus one minus two something like this so now if you want to get the root of the equation so you just take the number at this point that touch this point and also this point so let's say 
this is 1 so it means that your x can be equals to 1 if what you have here is 1 and if what you have here is minus 2 then of course your x is equal to minus 2 so this is another way of how to get quadratic uh, equation using graphical methods okay so you see here you have x equals to minus 4 so let's look at how we can solve this using uh, this thing so of course we'll think of the number that if you multiply them will give you 16 if you add them they will give you x and of course there are 4 so 4 times 4 we have 16 4x plus x will give us 8x so we'll now replace the 8x with 4x plus 4x so and then from here we'll create a bracket for them then at the end we'll end up with having x plus 4 and x plus 4 so therefore you will see that at the end we have x is equal to plus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0 so at the end we'll have x minus 4 or x minus 4 so 2 equal real numbers real number roots so that is this so how to determine the root of the equation how to determine the root of the equation so to determine the root of the equation look at this equation we have we have x squared minus 10x is equal to 16 so you you will take the minus 16 to the other side and make everything equals to zero so we have something like this then at the end we now take two numbers that will multiply that if you multiply them will give you 16 and if you subtract them will give you uh, minus 10 so which numbers are those numbers if we take 8 and 2 8 and 2 so let's see 8 and 2 of course if we said 8 times 2 we have 16 but if we said 8 plus 2 will it give us minus 9 minus 10 no it's 10 so therefore this one cannot work we have to add negative sign so you can now say minus 8 times minus 2 so minus times minus is plus so we now end up of having 16 then minus 8 minus 2 we now have minus 16 so we'll now take this one with negative so therefore at the end of this we'll have like something like x squared minus we'll remove this minus 10x and put minus 8 minus 8x minus 2x then minus 16 equals to 0 so we now create a bracket for this and this so what is common here is x then we now open and close bracket x minus 8 then we close bracket then what is common here is minus 2 so we have minus 2 open bracket x minus 8 again so we have our 8 here we close the bracket you see we have this this in common so you just say that we have x minus 8 that is one of our brackets and then we create a bracket for this one x minus 2 so you see at the end we'll have x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 8 equals to 0 so that is how this one continues so you see we have this so we have this as our answer so we also have another one i think let me just stop here so that i will do another video